Hey what's up guys it's Aprix here in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to set up a brand new PS2 emulator for Android devices in 2025 Now Nether SX2 has finally awakened from the depths of slumber and we have the brand new Nether SX2 version 2.0 Now this brand new PS2 emulator for Android has lot of changes bug fixes performance improvements new UI and much more But before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel let's jump right into our today's video To start off guys let me introduce you to the Nether SX2 PS2 emulator for Android and its brand new 2.0 update it is fully open source and available on its official GitHub you guys can see about 5 days ago one of the biggest updates of any PS2 emulator was released in the form of Nether SX2 version 2.0 lot of changes have been made including brand new on screen touch controls updated the wide screen and no interlacing patches along with that russian translation has been provided mali gpu device supported has also been provided but unfortunately older mali devices may have some rendering issues if you guys want me to test this out on a mediatek or an exynos processor android device do let me know in the comment section down below with that being said let's start setting up this emulator i have already added this version of nether sx2 on my android device the setup screen will be similar to that of ether sx2 so let's tap on the next button afterwards you can read the faq or skip it like i like to do always we'll get some preset or built in settings that you can choose from optimal or save defaults fast and unsave defaults and also expand to cut out area make sure to enable this option and depending on the device and type of performance which you want from ps2 emulation you can either choose fast settings or the optimal save settings for today's video we'll go with the fast default settings because obviously it won't have that many graphical issues and it will make sure that your game runs with better fps and speed percentage aspect ratio make sure to set it to stretch theme you can either set it as light or dark and gpu renderer this is the most important if you have android version 9 or above make sure to choose the vulkan gpu renderer as it provides better performance you also get the option for upscale multiplayer if you have a flagship android device with snapdragon 888 processor or above you can generally enable the upscale multiplayer and set it up to 2x native resolution as the device which i am using in today's video has the snapdragon 8 elite processor will be using the 4x native upscaler which is 2048p resolution now this is not recommended especially if you are on low end android devices let's tap on the next button after First, make sure to import the BIOS of PlayStation 2. Once the BIOS has been imported, make sure to select it. After a step on next and add the game directory where you have dumped all your PlayStation 2 games. After a simply tap on the next button. And here we go. The setup has been completed. Tap on finish, and all of your PS2 games that you have added inside your Android device will be successfully loaded here. Now, for some reason, I guess there are no cover art of the games that we are trying out. Whereas in the other PS2 emulator, which is the competitor to Nether SX2, the PPS. is pp2 i guess there is an option to add cover image but you'll need to choose it manually we'll skip that for today's video we'll tap on the three lines afterwards you guys can also start bios you can also check out the disk executables app settings even controller settings so you can pair it up with any external game pad like the ps5 controller which i have right here and just set aside your phone enjoy a controller based gameplay experience but i am all for on screen touch controls let's go to app settings where you'll get lot of additional settings that you can enable or disable depending if you want better performance or better graphics quality in the general section make sure to enable the show fps option as well as show speed if you want to monitor the performance of the emulation you can do that as well enable show cpu usage to see if your cpu is lagging even show gpu usage to see the gpu statistics afterwards scroll to the system settings and here you can disable the frame limit option This will make sure that the system will run as fast as possible. This is an hazard if you have a high-end Android devices and have not increased the graphics resolution because your game will just run too fast that you can't even control it like 400 500 fps so make sure to enable frame limit only if you have a high end android device but on low end device or if you increase the upscale multiplier then make sure to disable this option afterwards we'll go to graphics as i mentioned before gpu renderer is vulkan you can disable some of the options such as bilinear filtering trilinear filtering and even anisotropic filtering for better performance once that's done you can select the audio settings or directly scroll back to the last option which is going to be advanced here are some of the experimental features but you'll need to scroll down and make sure that the enable fast mem option has been turned on now that we are done with setting up everything we can start testing out some of the games that i have dumped on my android device for example the tekken 5 demo god of war 2 demo and much more let's start with the god of war 2 the classic most popular ps2 game of all time at the top right corner you will be able to see the fps which we are getting in nether sx2 you get vps as well as speed percentage vps is different to fps but here we go our game has successfully started within just few seconds we are in 
emulating the God of War 2 original game on our mobile device. Let's wait until this intro cutscene is over and I'll be back. And so there we go guys our game has successfully started and even with 4x native upscaler the performance of Nether SX2 2.0 is so amazing that we are getting about 70 FPS. At the top left corner you will be able to see the FPS results as well as speed percentage. Speed percentage is around 300 which is literally super insane. If you want to stop it you can tap on the pause button and make sure to toggle frame limiter option. But in my case uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. So we'll just go ahead and go back and try out our next game which is going to be Tekken 5. And as you guys can see our game is about to start. So there we go Tekken 5 press the start button to continue. Let's just go ahead and start a random match and here we go the fight begins. Just take a look at this we are emulating oldest of the oldest amazing PS2 titles on our Android devices natively in 2025 with the help of this PlayStation 2 emulator and all of your nostalgia will be finally paid off using the Nether SX2 emulator. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.